Let's talk about Clemson's Trevor Lawrence. I'm going to make a quarterback comparison today that's going to open some eyes. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. I am super pumped that college football season is back in the swing, and we're seeing some of the big names and the big teams from around the country. I'm a little sad. I'm a lot sad, let's be honest, that the Pac-12 and the Big Ten aren't playing because there's some great teams and some great players that we're not getting to see. So I hear that the Big Ten will be taking a vote uh, and presenting to the competition committee today, actually, about the potential for opening up their season soon, maybe even in October, where the Pac-12 still on the outside. California, Oregon, both re restrictions in place. They're not going to be playing football on the West Coast anytime soon. So all that aside, great to see some college football this week. And I want to talk to you today about Clemson's quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, making comparison with Wake Forest quarterback, Sam Hartman. And I'll show you why in a second. First, if you're new to the channel, if you dig football content, if you love talking quarterback play, offensive concepts, anything football, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. That way you get notified every time we have new videos coming out. Give me a thumbs up if you are ready to take a look at Trevor Lawrence, see what he did this weekend, and leave a comment down below. Love to hear from you, your thoughts on the games that you saw this weekend, some of the players that we should be looking at. Also, please share this video out. Friends, family, teammates, anybody who enjoys football content, hopefully they'll love this channel. We'd like to grow the channel as much as possible so we can help all the young athletes across the country. When I'm talking about making quarterback comparisons, it's never apples to apples when you're comparing quarterbacks. There's an old saying in football that the quarterback always gets too much credit and too much blame. And so this weekend, I thought that Clemson-Wake Forest game was a great example of just that. Trevor Lawrence, maybe the premier quarterback in the country right now, really, really good football player. Loved him when he was a true freshman. Still really liked the guy. I think he's the number one overall pick. If not, he's a top 10 pick for sure as a quarterback. And I think he has the tools to play the game. We'll take a look at some of his film in just a second. But Sam Hartman started as a freshman, same time that Trevor Lawrence started two years ago, is now in his third year at Wake Forest, is a guy who struggled, got benched at Wake Forest, and now has come back as a starter for this season. And you can see in this game, and I'm going to show you in the footage, the comparison between the two quarterbacks. Trevor Lawrence gets all the love, gets all the credit coming out of this game. Hartman looks like he didn't have a very good game. But let's take a look at the film, and let me show you why that old saying is true about quarterbacks. Always too much credit, always too much blame. Here we go. I wanted to compare Sam Hartman from Wake Forest with Trevor Lawrence to kind of show you how life differs for quarterbacks depending on the system that they're in. So his first play, what you're going to see is a cross by the tight end here from Clemson and a climb route by the slot. You're going to get play action fake inside. And so this is like a hound two or fox two protection. And I'll put the card up the top of the screen. Uh, I just did a video on that the other day. But Wake Forest is playing man. And so as this tight end breaks across the middle, you're going to see this corner jump down and follow. Then probably a safety in this case. This is probably the corner. But this over the top player jumped down and follow. Slot is going to be covered man and run away on that climb route. Lawrence has max protection. They've got both backs in on the play action fake. You're going to see this back come in and settle. The other back come over and settle. And he's keeping one, two, three, four, five offensive linemen up front. So it's a seven-man pro. And he has max protection back here. So he has all the time in the world to wait for this route to come open. So we'll run it through here. You can see he does a nice job with his eyes right here, looking downfield, keying this player. That's where the stretch is. As he makes this cross across the middle, linebackers have bit. If he bites, now you know you've got this climb route coming over the top of him. And so that's where his stretch is. He's got his eyes there right now. As soon as that player makes a break, you can see him getting taller, and now sliding so that he has good vision downfield. 
this corner is out here covering space. He's not doing much. And so this ball is going over the top of him. Great job. Incredibly accurate. Nice throw. I'll run it back one time, full, t full speed for you here so you can see it. But this is how you draw it up when you put it on the whiteboard. One, two, three hitches for Lawrence. Able to deliver it. Max protect. And now from the end zone, you can see here, a nice dish. All the time in the world. Let's it rip. Super accurate. Nice arm. Great shot. Here's Sam Hartman, Wake Forest. You can see here, he's got trips right. What they're going to run is a little bubble fake. They're going to bring the wheel and hook. And he's going to pump this bubble, hoping that he can draw one of these coverage guys off. And they're hoping that they get a pick in here somewhere and that this wheel comes free. That's what he sticks on. That's what he hangs on. Now, as you watch this, he should throw this hook. This is early-ish in the game. You can see 726, first quarter. So here we go. You can see a little pump fake there. He does get this guy to bite up. They're playing combo, so that was a press man. But he's going to take first thing in the backfield. These guys are waiting to in and out whatever comes to him. So as this wheel happens... This safety continues to expand inside, but this corner just sits on that wheel over the top. As a result, the wheel isn't there. He throws it, but it's not there for him. Not the best decision. Had a guy open, missed on the deep one. Now, I like this about Trevor Lawrence's game in that he's a tall dude. He's like 6'4", 6'5". But he's really athletic and very fluid. And so a throw like this, he's going to give a little cheesy fake inside. And then he's going to reset his feet and rip one out to the outside receiver on the bubble. And so this can be tough for tall guys sometimes. But Lawrence is athletic. You see the quick fake, rips the bubble, and throws an accurate catchable ball that his receiver can then do something with. And so that's a nice throw, good footwork by a big man. The reason why that works inside, holds guys inside, is because Clemson's so effective running the ball. You watch Wake Forest, and again, still first quarter. But their running game, not quite as effective. You're going to see Clemson does a nice job of kind of hemming everything in. Everybody's in their run fits. The back does a nice job of kind of finding a place here and squirming out, but the backers fall over and end up making a play on it. And so good sound run defense, everybody in their run fit. And so not a lot there for Wake Forest. They get about three yards out of it, so not a horrible play, but also not a big gash. Meanwhile, Clemson running this speed Sprint draw. Lawrence sprinting right, movement going right. Linebackers even finding their way up into the gap, but they find a way to kick that end. Tight end is up and leading through, and then you've got a hat on a hat here, and these guys coming out on the fan, so nothing but space inside for the running game. Gash somebody like that, and it's going to make them pay attention to your run, but it's also going to open up your play-action pass game. Clemson comes back here, and you're going to see they run this fake toss, ATN getting way out to the outside here, and you're going to see flow by the backers. When they flow, all Clemson's running is four verts, four vertical here. And when they do, there is nobody in the middle of the field. That's like second base, right? If this is center field, there's nobody covering second base, and so... My backup quarterback in high school could have made this throw, and I don't even remember who that was at this point in my life. So this is stealing. Linebackers up, committed, nothing but running room here, and the nearest safety is 20 yards deep. So 
That is stealing for a quarterback. That's making it look easy. Big-time yards, big-time throw, but a fantastic play design. So meanwhile, while Lawrence is getting protection, the RPO for Wake and his receivers aren't necessarily helping him. This time you're going to see the RPO fake in here, and you're going to get a ride. He's waiting for his receiver, it looks to me, to get up and get the stop route on the outside. His key is going to be that apex defender, that linebacker. So if this guy comes down and bites, he's going to throw this. If he sits back, he's going to hand this off because they have numbers in the box. Well, on his read, linebacker walks up late and then reacts up. You can see that linebacker coming downhill into the box. And so when he does that, he's waiting for this receiver to get up here and run that hook route or stop route. Instead, this receiver allows himself to be pushed down and collapsed inside on his stem. So when he finally does get vertical, he actually ends up behind this linebacker and allows that linebacker to recover into the play. You see, he is just getting manhandled, pushed down in, and he's not even looking back for the ball. Quarterback Hartman's already ready to throw this football, but because his receiver is getting pressed, maybe held a little bit even, but you have to be able to get off that if you're a D1 college receiver. He can't go anywhere with the ball. By the time this receiver turns his head, these linebackers are already recovering. They're already back in place. This guy's down here looking to block. These guys are all blocking run up front because it is an RPO. And so he has nowhere else to go with this football. That's his one option. And that one option ran to get covered. So nowhere to go. He tries to tuck it, but he can't do anything against this Clemson defense. And that makes it tough as a QB when your one option is not there for you on the throw. So was it all sunshine and puppies for Trevor Lawrence? No, but he only played into the beginning of the third quarter, uh, and he had a great game. He had a lot of time in the pocket. It was very seldom rushed, and they had a great running game. Obviously, the score indicates that at the end of the game. But it wasn't easy for Hartman either. He didn't get a ton of help from his wide receivers. There's a couple drops. Guys not getting open. Maybe it was some play calling involved in it, but his guys weren't open. He didn't have the same time Trevor Lawrence did. Now, that said, Trevor Lawrence is a stud. But if Sam Hartman were playing at Clemson, we'd be talking about what a good quarterback he is too because when you look at his technique, when you look at his mechanics, he's got pretty good mechanics. He's got good technique. He's got a nice arm. He's accurate when he throws, when he has time to throw. Um, and then it's just an issue of can he read? And you can't really tell from what you saw during the game versus Clemson. All this gets back to quarterbacks always get too much credit and too much blame. But Clemson's going to be great. Lawrence is going to be great. you got a super bright future. But I also kind of like Sam Hartman. I would just love to see him play in ideal conditions to get a real feel of what he's like as a quarterback. And so as an ex-quarterback, I give him the benefit of the doubt. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I did on video here today. And please share this video out and leave me a comment down below. Bring you a little college football because I love it. I miss it. Miss the Pac-12 and like having college football back. I will talk to you again soon.